mailbox here. When this mailbox option, it's not one of the necessary options that I showed you on the previous slide. In this mailbox option, it's going to let you do mentions where you need to be. Right? So if I tell it, hey, you are mailbox 600, that says, says send a six subscribe message for voice mailbox 600. And so I, you know, it's like a pub sub mechanism where I'm subscribed to 600 and Asher shows that I'm subscribed to 600. And so when a, uh, a voicemail pops into the, the mailbox 600, it sends a message to the phone that says, hey, uh, blink your, your red light for message waiting indication and show an icon on the screen and those sorts of things, right? That's what the mailbox does. And so these are the settings you need in the phone and it just pulls everything else from the template, right? That's how that, that's how that templating mechanism works. And, and that's where it's kind of nice. Uh, the thing I wanted to show was that, let's say I'm saving this file. Okay, I've saved the file, but Asher's done the mailbox yet, right? It has to parse that file. And when does it parse the file? It parses the file when I load the module. So I can connect to the CLI, and at runtime, when Asher starts up, it'll load in all this module and read all this configuration. I can force a reloaded module, uh, in this case by just doing a module reload channel sip, right? And I reloaded sip that read the message configuration. A shortcut for that is simply sip reload. So I can do sip reload and it'll it, it has the same effect. That's like a shortcut to reload the module. You have another question? Is that not called the module? Oh, uh, it's an excellent question. So if I reload the sip module, do I drop calls? And the answer is no. Uh, unless, what do you think about that? Unless you're like restarting Dahi, when they're analog or when they're uh, Dahi, which is just interfacing with hardware, uh, you can't update configuration without doing some time to schedule to, to drop those calls. I think, depending on, I'd have to ask our Dottie guys if they've updated it. Is it that anyone's, anyone's experience where they've, they've updated Dottie configuration without dropping calls? It drops, it does drop calls, yeah. So that's still the case if it's in Dottie, because Dottie is interfacing with actual hardware with telemetry cards, it's a different mechanism. So when you update your Dottie configuration, you need to schedule downtime. With SIP, however, you can, uh, you can, you know, so I'm mean, going to test it out. See, not a lot of demo, right? Let's do it this way. Dial it out. So here my, my call and it's up. And I can do core show channels. There's my calls and I can do a sip reload. And hey, my calls are still going. So I, I show my channels. No problem at all. So if you if you reload the module, you're not you're not dropping that call, right? So that's a really nice thing. The other thing that I will mention at this point is that uh, you know oftentimes I see a lot of Asher two administrators and they'll just do this. They'll just say reload. That reloads everything. Now, on the one hand, that's nice because it doesn't matter. Right? Am I working in SIP? Am I working in uh, attention time? Am I doing something else? Whatever it is, I don't have to remember the thing that I'm doing. I just say reload. But what's the bad part of that? It reloads everything. Yeah, exactly. Well. It, uh, it reloads everything, and you're not going to see your explicit notices and warnings from that specific configuration, right? So, uh, you know, if I look at sip.com, and let's just see if I can if I can pull it up. I, I I messed up a setting there, and let's see if I do sip reload. What does it give me? Ah, you have an error, right? There's a problem. Will it give it to me again? Nope. Maybe I can 